We're back. We're getting into game number three. Uh, Epic has put Psystorm up on the board two to zero. Uh, we have a TVT now as Psionic Aftermath tries to turn things around. Right. Uh, so because this is a different matchup, the Psionic Aftermath might be happy that they won't be getting another tank push from uh, Epic. Of course, Psionic Aftermath, they definitely have their own strength as well, which is totally what I'm looking for here. Uh, Terran versus Terran, it is an exciting matchup. Well, what do you think about the matchup, Jordan? Uh, I think it's actually... Uh, whenever people ask me about TVT, I tell them like this. It is a ton of fun to cast, mm -hmm. especially the early game with all the different openers and how they can deviate right. in the smallest ways that make the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. But playing it, uh, both from like my, uh, my random ladder adventures and then hearing from other people who uh main tear and having to deal with tvt it's a nightmare to play it's nerve-wracking you can lose for like the smallest reasons uh proxies of course uh terrans have the easiest proxy abilities because they don't require a pylon or creep to build buildings so right. it's incredibly easy to proxy and especially in tvt uh even proxy reapers even after the several nerfs that the reapers have received is still viable and can still just outright end a game in the first five minutes uh, but let's get into it. Spawning in the bottom right, the Red Terran representing Psy Storm Gaming. It is epic. Spawning in the top left, it's from Psionic Aftermath. Will he be able to recover? Sid Psych. Right, so back to what you said. TVT is definitely a tough matchup for those who are not really um, intimate with the matchup, and that is because so many acts, so much stuff can happen in such an instant amount of time. Uh, the classic marine tank, if you could just make one maneuver wrong, all those tanks with the incredible amount of damage can just wipe out an entire group of marines. But and also there's the uh, like like what you talked about the early different builds that can put players off as well and just to add a little bit on that the first reaper is coming along and if you have an scb then that's a pretty good way to win the Re reaper versus reaper fight because the reaper will target the scb if you make the scb attack the reaper yeah i was confused as to why i pulled back he was up on the ramp there it looks like he wanted to hold down that depot from coming up but instead he pulled back i guess it, he saw something that uh made him leave but for the life of me i can't figure out what it is well he just confirmed that it was a one 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 so there is no particularly strong uh attack going on and he also didn't confirm the lack of the base so right now they're pretty much making the same units so it's uh there's no particular edge to a particular player right now oh well that that grenade looks like it gave Epic the edge, and now Psyche is going to have to be on the retreat. And right, he'll have to jump to high ground to get the advantage. Uh, there's a Cyclone on the way, but there is a Cyclone also for Psyche as well. Actually, two Cyclones. Uh, these Reapers have made their escape, and while these Reapers are distracted, here comes a Cyclone jump. Oh, but oh my goodness, <laughs> this Reaper should not die. It is such an important unit early on. Here we actually uh, see more Reaper fights, but with Cyclone on the way, uh, there's no way the Reaper can do much. Now, the Reaper is an important unit because you want to be able to identify the tech structures. You don't want to waste a scan. So this is one way to do it, uh, and Epic completely confirms what's coming out. If you can just confirm the unit that's coming out of the starboard, that would be so great. And if he can do that, he wouldn't have to build an engineering bay and uh, invest additionally into turrets. Yeah, that turret wasn't the most effective thing ever. It drops it and immediately. Epic just scoots out of range. A little bit oh, of pick up micro. Fire with the appropriate micro right there. Just taking it on with this cyclone draft. Yeah, and that I the pickup micro it killed every unit that was left and now uh yeah, Epic was forced to fight or uh Psych was forced to fight with just SCDs right. and he's still keeping these cyclones alive till the very last second. No, with the problem with the early uh Okay, he, he, oh, he actually saves those Cyclones. 17 SCB damage, and with such a huge difference in the supply, it is oh, it is just heartbreaking to see this much damage done early on the game. And he taps out, it's a GG. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I was oh, in, 
five minutes, almost five minutes flat. I don't even feel like we were comfortably into that game. Like, you know how you, like a game, the the stage gets set, the pace is set, and then you kind of get, you get right. into the groove of, all right, oh, okay, this is how the game is going to go. We didn't even get to that point, and the game was over before mm. we knew it. Right, I think the biggest problem there was that even though it was a one base attack, like they both players completely knew what the other opponent was doing. But when you have a one base like that, it's much better to build Cyclones rather than go for a fast tech lab under a factory and go for tanks. Because Cyclones early on is really a, just an amazing unit for Terrans. It, if it's a one base, there's going to be aggression. And if there's going to be aggression, there's no better unit than the Cyclone. So just skimping out on the Cyclone and with the Superior Micro, I think Epic was able to take that quite comfortably. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.